Hello YouTube and welcome to the next episode in a review of something random. Today we're going to be covering the Caldwell Precision Ballistics Chronograph and app for your smartphone. Now first I'll go over everything that came with the chronograph itself and then we'll get into testing it out. Let's get started. When you get your chronograph, you get the chronograph body itself with sunshades, as well as this very long cable that's about a 15 footer. I've used this chronograph once before, but just to test it out to make sure it functions, today we're going to actually do some decent testing. That tripod does not come with it, that's actually a tripod that came with the camera I'm shooting with. You also get this bag, not the uh, tape measure. The bag comes with this drawstring shoulder strap, and that's about it. It's a very basic setup. Now you can use this chronograph without the smartphone app. However, it will only display each shot as you take them. It won't store the shots or give you any calculations. That's what the app is for. It'll store shot strings that you can name individually as well as calculate things like standard deviation, average feet per second, etc. Let's go ahead and get into this. Today I'm going to be using my AR-15 from Natmill. I've got a box of Remington UMC 55 grain 223 rounds as well as some hand loads that are sitting on top of a Hornady box. I'll catch as much of this with the camera as I can but we'll see what happens. Now for a target I'm just using a tree that's way out there at about 70 yards. It's a tree that we shoot into all the time so it's used to it. Now of course we do Put in earplugs for safety. I want to load up first with the Remington rounds. Then I'll load in the, uh, the hand loads. So I'm going to be doing shot strings in 10 rounds each. Now don't worry, I will be doing a review of the rifle itself, but that's just not going to be today. Now, I have the chronograph set at about 12 feet. Okay, let's take a look at the averages for the Remington ammunition. Okay, so now we're looking at the figures for the Remington ammunition. As you can see here, we've got the average speed, the standard deviation of 2853, minimum feet per second of 2750, max of 2995, with a spread of uh, 245 feet per second. That is ridiculous. Uh, I would not expect that from a factory loaded ammunition. Uh, we also have what their estimated true muzzle velocity is of 2893.1. Over here we've got all of the individual shot strings. Now it doesn't show the foot pounds of force on this set because I did not have the ballistic coefficient 
uh, for those 55 grain rounds. But since this is connected to my wireless, um, when I was shooting this, it gave the current temperature and barometric pressure. Um, we also had about an 11 mile an hour wind out there today. And as you saw, it was kind of sunny. Now we'll fire off the hand loads. All right, let's take a look at those averages. Now we've got the figures for the hand loads. Again, temperature, barometric pressure are the same. The hand loads were running 75 grain bullets, which is why you're seeing a much slower uh, velocity. But we've got 26, 27.7 as the average, a standard deviation of 20.88, minimum of 2590, max of 2668, a spread of 78 feet per second, and an estimated true muzzle velocity of 2637. Over here we've got all of the shots and their foot pounds of pressure. You have a settings option which will allow you to input your location, your time format, temperatures, etc. Yeah. So if you're in new groups, you can go up to the settings and go to show more. And then here you can enter notes on the load, distance from the uh, to the chronograph from the muzzle, the ballistic coefficient, the bullet weight. So, so far I've been very happy with the chronograph. It's very easy to use. It's primarily plug and play. You throw a nine volt battery into it and you're good to go. You take a piece of paper with you if you don't have a smartphone and you can log all of your shots manually. The shot will stay on the screen on the, the chronograph itself until you fire the next round. So you can fire check for your impact area through your through your scope or spotting scope what have you and then just look at the uh, chronograph and log down the speed that it produced the smartphone app itself is quite easy to use uh, again mostly plug and play you plug into the chronograph you plug the other end into the smartphone uh, with the app up and it takes care of most of the information for you right there. Um, if you want to get additional things like the, the force that the bullet's hitting with, things of that nature, all you have to do is input the bullet's weight as well as the ballistic coefficient and you're good to go. Unfortunately, I do not have another chronograph to compare this one too as far as accuracy and so on that's a little bit of a downfall but i'm happy with with, with the results from this so far i'm hoping that it's not something crazy where you know this thing's reporting bullet speeds that are way off from actual bullet speed um, but again i don't have another chronograph to compare it to in order to be able to tell that Maybe one day I'll get a second chronograph and we can do comparisons that way. But until then, uh, I just have to deal with what I have. Um, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you didn't, please hit that dislike button. I'm looking for all input. If you want to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever new videos go up. And we'll see you in the next one.